Many boys spend their childhood building cars and aeroplanes from materials like cardboard, wire or tin. This seems to be an extension of that pastime. In this quiet home in Kawa West, we meet a man attempting a feat many would shy away from or even think ridiculous. 42-year-old Gabriel Nderitu plans to build a small plane even though he does not have an engineering background. I am an IT person uh, uh, basically uh, and uh, that's what I actually do for everything. Nderitu has a full-time job but since June 2009 has been working to build a homemade two-seater aircraft. So far he has spent 450,000 Kenya shillings from his savings. He says he doesn't want to reinvent the wheel since others have done it before. Instead, he is using detachable parts to put together a basic craft. Labor is not cheap and Deritu spends 1,000 shillings every day for the services of these mechanics. As I said, it's a boyhood uh, dream and I have, it's, 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 on my, it's been on my case for a long time. So I just want to get it out whether it works or not. It gets out of my mind, then I can do something else. Deritu had no skill to build an aircraft, but with a computer-aided design software program, he downloaded the blueprints for a plane and bought raw materials, some imported from the U.S., to build his plane. The 800-kilogram aircraft will run on a 40-litre Toyota engine that limits him to a 40-kilometre radius. The big challenge was aging. With the aging starting on the bench, uh, that solved a very big handle. That is normally the biggest challenge you get uh, a fuel injected engine starting on a bench. There is no telling whether his contraption will ever be licensed or allowed to fly, but with 90% of the work done, Deritu says the point is to inspire and build confidence in the youth. The same way that uh, if a guy says I want to, to build an aircraft, it seems like he's from the moon or from somewhere, and if it happens and at least it lifts off even if it is three feet, it shows that you've gone somewhere. George Bernard Shaw, a Nobel laureate and playwright, once said, you see things and say why, but I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? For Gabriel Nderitu, this means flying.